Hello everyone and welcome to the Paris Vegan Food Guide. In this video, I will share all my favorite restaurants in Paris. Some of them are completely vegan, some of them have vegan options, but all of them are super delicious. Have fun with this video and if you need more tips for the best coffee and vegan cakes and cafes in Paris, make sure to check out my other Paris Vegan Food Guide video. So let's start the video with my favorite place, which is called Aujourd'hui Demain. This is your place to have the best brunch ever. Definitely try the pancakes with the vegan sausage, you won't regret it. And of course, you can also eat lunch or dinner there. They have bowls, quesadillas, burgers, and a pretty good mac and cheese. And in the back of the store, they even have a clothing section with a selection of vegan clothes, shoes and bags. And they even have a little supermarket with vegan products. And if you're up for something sweet, definitely try their cakes and their colorful drinks. My favorite cake is their chocolate cheesecake. The next place is called Neko Ramen. Neko Ramen is a Japanese restaurant with two amazing fried vegan dishes and of course ramen. Our favorites were the yakisoba and the yaki udon dish. And if you sit upstairs, you can even sit under a sakura tree. Next up is Be Better. This place is Chef's Kids. I can't recommend this place enough. They offer tapas, burgers and tacos, cocktails and drinks. The place is completely vegan and the staff there was super friendly and super funny and we had a really great time there. Some no fish tacos! Some no chicken tacos again! Now let's talk pizza. Our favorite place to get pizza is definitely Marcus Pizza Amore. It's a very cute little restaurant. They have all the options for non-vegans, vegetarians, but also they have a huge, amazing and delicious selection of vegan pizzas. Make sure to try their vegan tiramisu and I also recommend ordering the lemon soda. It's the freshest lemonade and it makes you feel like you're in Italy. The next recommendation is Kapunka Vegan. This is a Thai restaurant, completely vegan and also gluten-free. Really nice vibes there. They were playing nice music, everyone was super nice. And for this place, make sure to make a reservation because the place is pretty small. And in general, that goes for all restaurants in Paris, especially on the weekends. Next up we have Breath. This place is a little fancy, it's a little bit more expensive, but you won't be disappointed because the food is really delicious and special and it looks really beautiful and it is 100% vegan. Next up is Sosimia. It's a really cute place. This is a real superfood restaurant. Everything they have is super healthy, energizing and so good for your body. And everything is gluten-free and vegan. The next place I love is called Jaja. They offer Afro-vegan cuisine. I love the vibes there. Very vibrant, very alive. They were playing nice music there. And of course, the food was delicious. Another place I love so much is Big Falafel. This was our go-to place. We went there so many times and it was always so good and so fresh. They have lots of vegan options and they're clearly labeled. We love that, it's super helpful. Definitely check them out if you crave falafel or need a quick lunch, dinner or snack. 
My favorite thing to get here is called Sata Extra. It's very delicious. Also check out Shihaki if you crave Chinese food. We tried the dumplings, the pho and the fried noodles and it was great. And whenever I'm at a Chinese restaurant, I need to order lychee juice. Because that's childhood memories for me. What time is it? Burger time! Naked Burger is your place to get burgers. We really like the avocado burger and the coleslaw and also the fries are nice. And I think they have like a raspberry cheesecake muffin, which is also really good. Another great place to eat at is Abattoir Vegetal. The space looks really nice. They have a lot of space. They put flowers in your drinks and on your food. The food is really colorful and they use seasonal and all vegan products. The next place is called Les Bols d'Antoine. So first of all, the place looks beautiful. There's beautiful street art at their outside walls. You can sit outside and there's plenty of space. In general, the location is absolutely gorgeous because it's located on top of Parc de Belleville and the view from there is wonderful. However, the day we went there, it was messy and the waiter kept on forgetting our orders. So it took like two hours until we got our food. And the food, to be honest, it wasn't really special. It was, it was good, it was okay. I'd really like to come back to this place to give it another chance because i've heard such good things about it and i think in general it is a really great place to eat at it was just a bad day or something but you know the view just kind of really made up for it so so we're good another place we found cute was viet food vegan it's a family-owned restaurant serving vietnamese food all completely vegan the owners were very cute and welcoming and super nice Also check out Mori Cafe. It's a Japanese cafe. It's very cute and traditional. And if you sit upstairs, there's a space where you take your shoes off and you sit on those cute Japanese chairs that don't have any legs. In Japan, you usually take off your shoes when entering a space. And that makes this cafe so special because it feels cozy just like at home. I ordered ramen and a ginger tea. And I also wanted to share Green Farmers, which is a 100% vegan burger place. And last but not least, I wanted to share this restaurant, Madame Pampa. This is a typical Parisian restaurant with all the flowers, the live music and everything. There's only one vegan option, but it was pretty good. There's lots of typical Parisian restaurants on all the busy streets and they look all beautiful but the sad thing is that there's no vegan options at all so this one was kind of the only place I found that has at least one vegan option and that was it for the video I hope you found some nice tips also make sure to check out my other video where I'm talking all about sweets and cakes and coffee bye